Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank. Trust is a difficult commodity, especially when it comes to e-commerce. But the next entrepreneurs are cashing in on the lack of trust to build their business. We are ready for the challenge. We are excited for it. <laughs> we can't lose. <laughs> Hello, Lions. My name is Robert Kamaru. I am the founder of Escrow Kenya, and I am an actuarial science graduate. And my name is Simon Karugu. I'm a co-founder of Escrow Kenya, and I hold a degree in actuarial science. Now, numerous posts are made on social media every day detailing how people got conned while buying or selling online. Now, these stories have created a lot of mistrust between online buyers and sellers, and as a result, normally when you want to sell something online, you will post it on a classified site like COLX, but because you don't trust any person who calls you to make an inquiry, you insist on that person sending you the money. Now, Escrow Kenya is solving this problem by coming in as a trusted neutral party to any, any transaction, any sale or purchase. So far, we have secured a total sum of slightly above 1 million Kenya shillings. We have managed to register about 1,400 users. And so far, we have overseen 120 transactions. So we are looking for a strategic partner and mentor to invest 2 million shillings in our business in exchange for a 25% stake. Cashing in on e-commerce transactions, a solid concept, but one dependent on volumes. What do the numbers look like? What's the average ticket size of the, the transaction? The average transaction size is so far 8,400 shillings. That's in 120 completed transactions. Okay, and for that, what is the fee that you have made? Out of that, we've collected about 35,000 Kenya shillings. We charge only 3%. Do you have any competition locally? Yeah, yes, we do. One of them is known as Lipasif, but so far we can't say really they are big competitors. Robert and Simon, firstly, well done on the registration of the URL. It's going to be worth a lot of money in the future as Thank a digital you. asset. Um, where have your buyers and sellers met so far? What sort of platforms? Mostly they meet on Facebook. How does it work? Assume I'm the seller, so I'll go to escrowkenya.com. Escrow I'll create a transaction. You will receive an SMS from us. After logging in, you'll be able to see all the details of that transaction. The money is received by us, Escrow Kenya. I, as a seller, I'll make arrangements to deliver the phone to you. Then once you've received it, you will log into your account again and tick that you've received what you paid for and it's in good condition. And then the seller will be able to initiate a withdrawal from us in his account. Because a lot of SMEs who want to use this kind of a facility yes. will be borrowing money, so they're using asset financing. Mm -hmm. So what arrangement would you have, for example, with a bank? Okay. Let's say it's KCB Bank that is lending me money to okay. buy my pickup truck. KCB wants to give the money to Dashan, who is selling the truck to me. Why would they give it through to escrow? Because now the money needs to come to escrow, not to Dashan. Uh, we are still developing that aspect, okay. although we didn't, uh, we didn't develop it based on maybe that example. And can you integrate this into other people's e-commerce platforms yes. so that they don't have to Yes, come actually to you? we have just developed an API and currently we are in the testing phase. So if you're getting money through M-Pesa, that money is sitting within M-Pesa. It's yes. not sitting with you. Yes. But if you get money into your account, the money is sitting there. Typically, for how long would you be holding the money in escrow? Because that also provides another revenue stream. That's a good suggestion. Uh, we haven't thought about that. But well, good. You've come out of something with the, from the lounge then <laughs> already. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. A few loopholes and possible revenue streams have been pointed out by Joanne Mwangi. Are the lions seen potential or more gaps? I think you should maybe focus on interacting with um, e-commerce companies yes. and be their back end as opposed to coming out front and saying, here we are. That's correct. It's so actually... I would say that you maybe focus instead on the B2B mm. back end since your API is ready. Thank so, you very um, much. From an investment point of view, I'll be out, but I hope you can be able to make some good headway. Thank, Thank you, you very much. From my perspective, I think there is definitely a need for this. OLX and other marketplaces, 
social media platforms. You really need to you know, go and talk to them and say, look, let us integrate with you. And I think also spend some more time actually talking to buyers and sellers, because mm -hmm. then you will come out with the different scenarios you need to play and, and, and work towards, like asset financing was one. Mm -hmm. So I'm out for now, but I wish you all the best. Good Thank job you. done. I won't give you stories. That's not my area of strength. For now, I'm out. I'd like to just offer you a design thinking workshop where we can sit with you and maybe buyers and sellers. I really hope that uh, Chris is going to put this money in and help you because he can take you places. Huh? For me, whether he takes it or not, my offer to you is available. Thank you very much. I'm out. Thank you. One lion remains, Chris Senanu. This concept is right up his alley, but he seems to be weighing his options. Is he in or is he out? I'm hoping to be the one to usher you out. With a smile. Smiling. With a smile. <laughs> wow, that is wonderful. Okay. I'll offer you the two million for 40. That's me being very nice and very kind. <laughs> you need Let's to have a tete-a-tete. -tete. Let's take a moment. Robert and Simon came in seeking 2 million for 25% of escrow Kenya. Chris just raised that to a whopping 40%. The entrepreneurs need to counter. So, Chris, will you allow us to counter that with 33%? <laughs> You've been watching too the much watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> This season, my minimum is 35. In fact, it's 36, but being <laughs> nice young guys, <laughs> I decided 1% can go off. It just changed in a minute. <laughs> 35 is okay. We'll take it. 36, 35. <laughs> well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Escrow Kenya bag techpreneur Chris Senanu at 35% for 2 million and the promise of a brighter future for them. I feel so good because everyone saw value in our products. That was another big plus. I'll give you a million shillings for the URL. Why? That's up to me, no? You want the million shillings, I want the URL. Yes or no? <laughs> Chris, with his tech background, he's definitely a good partner for us. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.